Edelmans. Edelmans. Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. If we get this call from the lady, the wife. Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not going to try that again. No. He's not going to try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you. I'm gonna take care of this. I don't love you. I don't love our kids. I hate Devin, so I will take care of it, but not for you. For me, Michael, Trevor, and uh, Franklin. Not Lamar, though, because he's he just fucking piggybacked on that shit. He did do something, technically, but it wasn't his job. He wouldn't have been able to do it without Franklin or Trevor, you know? So, you know, uh... What's that? I'm not, I don't have the time to check. I think we're about done. Like, I looked at my, I have this guidebook that I got way back when for GTA. I got it when the, the, the game came out. And, uh, I think we're just about done. We just have to plan it. Do it. And then, and then, uh, decide how we want to end the game. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. You with that, honey? You don't need to worry. Money doesn't matter when you're dead, daddy. Uh, well, I guess she has a point there. It's like the only thing that made sense that she said the entire time. Even if she does sound like a fucking dumb blonde when she says it. Oh my god, money doesn't matter when you're dead, daddy. Oh my god, there's some, like, guys who came to our house. And, like, with automatic weapons. Like, are you okay, daddy? Like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> nah, I ain't ready. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know you, but thanks. Dude, you've not left, have you? Alright, boys, let's do this shit. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. He still looks pissed. I would be too. My fucking family sucks. And Devin sucks. Talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. Me too. It's all I'm saying. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's all right. All right. Huh? Enough. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. They're both a little, uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. We load up and get out. We need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, making them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem against people of that effort. <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're gonna be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To a recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. 
Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. It's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again, I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh? you've got to get some police stingers. Uh, only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off their scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or obvious, what's it going to be? Subtle. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's going to take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you. It helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Ah, yeah, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. Looks like it. But I'm gonna go with the original squad. They took on the FIB with us. They gotta be okay. They were at the jewelry store and the bureau, and we ain't dead yet. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car, is going to be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Shit, I missed what the first driver does. I don't trust that guy with the armored cars, like... Ah, okay. This one's new blood. I've seen him drive, but I haven't seen him under pressure. I'm pretty sure Kareem dies if you take him on the jewelry heist. Like, he just dies falling off the bike, so I'm scared about what he'll do here. I'm scared about what he'll do here. Now, the hacker, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. I'm not going with... This guy, Ricky. I met him at the Life Invader office. He may not be that good, but he's enthusiastic. No, he's nerdy and dumb, and he sucks. <laughs> I'm going with him. Ah, Christian wasn't too hot at the jewelry store. But he didn't fuck it didn't up. Didn't his... Dude, sure. we... And his he... price is the same. This is the big <coughs> one. Is there anything you want to go over? No, I think that about settles it. Okay, we need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. Sounds kind of fruity, if you ask me. Nobody asked you. Look, this is our only hope. You control traffic in this town, you control the streets. I think it could work. It will work. As long as we're ready to move now. Come on. I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right, let's go. Hey, it's letting me run. Wait, does that mean I get to be packy? That'll be lit. Whenever I try to leave, they give me another dance. How much money you owe him? I suppose Trevor would take care of that. How much money do I have? A mil? What I gotta do? You can run now, we're outside. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess that would be the center location of the cars. There's an LSPD van holding spike strips in the rear car park at the South LS police station. Eh, I've got the hacker looking for some gauntlet muscle cars that we can modify. Ah, shit. 
Son of a bitch. Expect an email about that soon. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Let's take care of this first. We don't got the email yet. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to turn off the radio. I keep forgetting to turn off the radio. Shit! Yeah. Well, this video was uneventful. We didn't accomplish anything. Uh oh. The four muscle cars. We're going with bravado gauntlets. I modded one and the tests work well, so we just need three more. Hacker pulled from them and spoon. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Get off! Come on. Anyway. I don't know where the gauntlets are. Okay, he actually gave me the map spot. I want to do that first, because it's like this hide-and-seek bullshit that I don't like doing. <coughs> There's four of them, though. That's annoying. This is just going to be tedious stuff. Finding and modding cars. I think the first time I did it, I chose like the shittiest guy, and he couldn't actually pinpoint, he couldn't even get you a map of it. Like, I think you had to fucking play hide and seek. I couldn't find it. I googled it. I was like, fuck this. I have no idea where the motherfucking gauntlets are. Also known as the Challengers. Soon it will be. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah, right. I'm not going to that one. Wait, do I have to? Probably do. Almost ran over somebody's dog. That would not have been good. Why would I go to that piece of shit? Matt Black. Matt Black. I've got enough money to do it on all four. <clears throat> so. Where to now, bruh? Oh my god. Yeah, this is why this episode is going to be fucking annoying. Because I have to find. For, for each car I find. Dude, move. For every fucking challenger I find, I have to mod it, take it somewhere, and then go back. Uh, go to wherever the hell else the other ones are. So, it's a bit of a bitch. It's alright though, we're almost done. After that, we just have to get the spikes. The part I'm not looking forward to, however, is the shootout, but if I can use Trevor, I will. He'll save me. He'll get me out of that jam. Oh my lord. It's so far away. 